Welcome to ASEAN in Focus. I'm Alma Angeles, and the news starts now. Let's go to the United States. In Silicon Valley, uh, joining us live from Silicon Valley is Don Orozco. Don? Good afternoon, Alma. Good afternoon, Don. And of course, it's uh, again around uh, 11 o'clock here in uh, the U.S. and uh, just in the Pacific, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, here's an update on what's going on and what's happening in terms of uh, the uh, coronavirus here in California. Mm -hmm. In California, we have about uh, 6,429 cases now, 397 deaths, and 2,611 hospitalizations with about 1,108 ICU cases. And uh, the good thing is that uh, in Silicon Valley, in our Santa Clara County uh, region, uh, we are uh, almost able uh, to flatten the curve already. Uh, unlike in other, in other states and in other counties, mm -hmm. the spike goes up. Pero here in uh, the Silicon Valley, it has been controlled simply because of uh, the, uh, the order of uh, the governor as well as the different mayors here in uh, Silicon Valley wherein uh, they said uh, to stay home and stay safe. And uh, that has been uh, one of the things that uh, the citizens here are following. And currently, uh, it is now a uh, must. If you go out of your home, it is now a must for you to wear a, a mask. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, and the mask is not necessarily have to be the N95 or whatever. Let those be for those who are in the front lines. If you are just out doing groceries or anything at all, you just need to cover your mouth and your nose. So anything, even just a bandana type of clothing will also work. And uh, right now, as you go around the Silicon Valley and uh, California, uh, the tendency for uh, uh, for public transportation is really very low. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, bus routes is down to uh, 90%. That's why uh, they are going to come up with a different uh, different schedule of for buses because it is very limited and mostly. The, uh, the one that's actually taking uh, public transport are, uh, are the frontliners. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, Hilton and Double Tree Hotels just announced that they are opening their doors, their hotel, for all frontliners. Mm -hmm. They can actually stay for free. So, Hilton and double three. So if this is something that will interest you, Alma, you may want to come over and stay free together with some of the, unfortunately, the frontliners here in, uh, here in California. Uh, just to give you a thought, you know, uh, right now, hearings for uh, uh, the hearings, uh, court hearings, uh, they still continue, and they do it online as well. So no more person-to-person uh, -person contact. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, 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 as soon as they found out that, that there were already 13, uh, 13 patients, uh, 13, I mean, uh, uh, prisoners have been uh, tested positive. So they decided that they will just do everything online. And then uh, one, of, uh, the, uh, one of the good thing, one of the bright news that I have did not happen here in, uh, in uh, Silicon Valley. It actually happened in LA, especially for those who have relatives who are uh, members of the crew mm -hmm. for the different Princess Cruises. Today, in Los Angeles Airport, uh, 
there was a special flight provided for 114 Filipinos who are all crew members of the Princess Cruises. Oh, okay. And this is through the Department of Foreign Affairs and the Philippine Consulate in LA. And the good news is that tomorrow on our ASEAN in Focus program, we will have Consul General Adele Cruz joining us for a little bit of chit chat with you, Alma. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Uh, I just want to ask, uh, Don, are there any initiatives to help our healthcare workers there, like provide PPEs or um, assist the unemployed? Or uh, as in the case here in the Philippines, uh, there has been a call to assist the middle class, which is very crucial to the economy. Are there anything uh, like that there over there in uh, California? Well, there is. Actually, most of the tech companies here have already refocused their, their, uh, their manufacturing. Mm -hmm. They are now manufacturing PPEs. Mm -hmm. And then uh, even, even stores that sell textile, mm -hmm. they are now selling it for, to, for, for, us to, uh, for people to come up with a face mask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that's the thing. And then uh, you were talking about unemployment, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, over the past two weeks, it has now ballooned to about 10 million unemployed Americans. But yes. that's for the whole United States. Uh -huh. So it's about 10 million now that has applied for uh, unemployment. Mm -hmm. So with that overwhelming number, how is the government going to address that? Uh... Well, they released last week $2.2 trillion to help not just uh, the ordinary workers, but mm -hmm. even the banks and all other institutions that is affected, mm -hmm. and all of us are affected. Uh -huh. Now, uh, the uh, Speaker of the House, uh, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, has just come up with an idea to release another $1.5 trillion mm -hmm. just to uh, make sure that there is continuity. Because again, uh, it will not be sufficient for any of us to be receiving only a one-time 1,200 for any citizens of the United States. That's mm -hmm. why, and, 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 and again, as I reported last time, mm -hmm. it has been extended. I believe in your case, it was extended to April 30. Yes. Ours is, is May 3. So, and, and, and then this week, the advice of, uh, of uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci is uh, yeah. as much as possible, do not leave your house this week. Yes. Because this is the most crucial thing. Crucial, because yeah. this is already kind of like uh, the, uh, uh, the final phase of yeah. the quarantine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's uh, practically about it. That's the latest right now that's going on here in, uh, in uh, the Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. Again, this is Don Orozco reporting live. And we live in interesting times. Thank you, Don.